All right, Nana Entertainment News and Rick's Reviews. 17's entertainment expert Rick Bentley is joining us in studio with a new review. So you did The Forge in the last half hour, right. now it's Blink Twice. Blink Twice, uh, A Tale of Terror. Okay. Now, I, I want to make something clear. Uh, uh, these kind of films where they, there's a left turn somewhere about halfway in the movie, are, are they work when they catch you by surprise. Okay. Like uh, Get Out or The Menu. Okay. You don't okay. see it coming, hits you like a, a truck. Well, director Zoe uh, Kravitz, the daughter of Lenny Kravitz and the actress who directed this film, instead of taking a left, a right turn, she kind of takes this long arc to finally get to that, to that twist. Okay. And unfortunately, that lets the audience go, oh, I know where we're going, here we come, oh, we got there. Oh, bummer. And, and so the, the tension is not as strong as it should be. Now, basically what the story is, is that Channing Tatum plays this sleazy tech billionaire who has been, had a lot of trouble. Uh, with the media and everything, so he, he's changing his ways. He's bought a, an island, he's going back and reflecting on the bad he's done. Well, he meets this working class woman, played by uh, Naomi uh, Aki, and he invites her to go to the alley with him, and, and it's a, a fun party time. Okay. But they soon realize there's something weird going on here, and that's where the movie takes its turn. Okay. Now, I can't talk too much about that turn because if you know what's happening, then, you know, you can see it coming yourself, but it, it does take this weird turn. Now, I will tell you this, the film has a disclaimer at the beginning that says the, uh, the violence in this film could be triggering. Oh. Uh, it, it is very vile and very grotesque, and I'm telling you, when we get to that, that second half, be prepared. It pushes the R rating to the extreme. Does it. So don't have that popcorn. Don't have that popcorn. <laughs> now, the film has a very slow pace to it. Okay. We, we, you eventually know where it's going. The acting's not that great, but overall, it's got a beautiful look to it. Kravitz knows how to stage a film. Mm -hmm. I think it, she's a novice director, and I think she'll improve when she learns that this kind of terror needs a rhythm. Yes. It's got to find that right beat, and she's kind of off kilter a little bit with that. Now, it's not, not enough where I was blinking twice to an usher right. to get me out of here, but I found myself blinking times because I was nodding off. There was a few, a few lulling moments. Overall, it's not bad, but it's not good. I really wanted this to be another get out, something yes. that just caught you so by surprise. But again, that slow, meandering way to get to that turn, it just lets the audience know what's coming, and, and that kills the tension. So overall, it's going to get about a C plus for me. Okay, so middle of the road. It's yeah, worth seeing, you know, it's worth seeing. But you know, I think anybody who's seen films like The Menu or Get Out, who have that roadmap of how do these things work, are going to know immediately. Mm -hmm the twist in it. Exactly. Now, uh, real quickly, there's a f new film called Strange Darling that's come out. That's a horror film. And it's completely different okay. because it is shot in such a way that the, it's, it's done in six chapters, but the chapters are out of order. Oh. So when we introduce to the main character, she's bloodied in a mess, but we don't know if she's running from the person or the guy following her with a rifle is trying to kill her or trying to save her. I mean, it is structured so incredibly different that that becomes intriguing because we don't know where it's going. Okay. So I, re I recommend that that gets an A minus for me, oh. so I recommend that. And I'm recommending, as I told, I mentioned earlier in my report, I like The Forge a lot, especially if families who need faith-based films. Yes, yeah, which I don't feel like there's much of. Over no, the and, and when there's a good one, I'd like to be able to promote it. But it goes beyond faith-based. It's about being kind to humans, whether yes. you have, you go in with a religious aspect or, or non-believer. It's about needing to help each other, being supportive of each other, whether that's faith-based or not. And good for kids and teens to see that it's message. It's great for teens, especially for teens who are at that point where they're just getting out of high school and, you know, what do I do with yes. my life? And, and uh, you know, this is a point that says, you know, find something. And, but others have to help you find it. Exactly. That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Rick. Oh, yeah. We'll be right back.